the picture back. Hey, Sarah. All right, let me go through. Uh, let me go through the teams, and then we will get started into the case. Yep, that's right. So look, that is. Uh, we shipped it. I don't know if I told you, Walter. We sold it for uh, five thousand one hundred on eBay. We shipped it out today, so it's going to Hong Kong. So we're keeping our fingers crossed. <laughs> anyway, it was uh, Express Mail. Um, the guy bought, you know, I checked him out. He's bought a bunch of real expensive cards already. So hopefully, uh, yeah, hopefully it'll work out. But yeah, it was the second highest sale. There was a uh, there was a messy one of one that sold for fourteen thousand, and then that was the second highest one at fifty one hundred. There was another one that sold at five thousand. I actually spoke to the guy who bought that one. It was two out of ten. And he told me he actually got it for four thousand. They canceled the transaction, so I don't I don't know if that I, I assume that's true, but anyway, it was uh, it was pretty nice. Yep, I, I think so. That's what uh, that hopefully you know that goes through. Anyway, let, let's go through uh, the teams on this one. Uh, this is kind of a combo break. Uh, some of the teams were sold directly, some were sold on eBay. So, uh, and some of you who bought directly bought extra ones on eBay. But uh, anyway, hopefully I got all this right. If I've got something wrong, let me know. I, I do have it right. It's just uh, I typed this up right before. Uh, Chris T has uh, Argentina, France, Bosnia, Croatia, Ghana, and Switzerland. Uh, Chris Bird actually has five teams because he added Uruguay, uh, Chile, so that's a mistake right there. Should be five, and then he obviously has two. Uh, Chris's five teams are Australia, Brazil, Chile, Italy, and Uruguay. Uh, Sarah has Portugal, Belgium, Japan, and Russia. Uh, Pedro, uh, Germany, Netherlands, and Costa Rica. Uh, Denny has Colombia and Ivory Coast. Uh, Eric uh, has the USA. And now moving on to the eBay sales. Uh, you guys that are in my regular breaks, uh, as usual, you'll you'll continue to get random base. Uh, the eBay ones, I am going to uh, sort. If you want random base instead of your uh, country, just text me or e I mean email me or shoot me a message and let me know you want random. Otherwise, uh, for eBay, unfortunately, I'll have to sort all these uh, base cards. Uh, Joshua Samps. JH has Algeria and Iran. Uh, Man has Mexico, Spain, Cameroon, Greece, and Honduras. Uh, Bobby uh, Huntley939 has Ecuador. Into Cables69, uh, Reynaldo has England. Uh, Techno Team, uh, welcome back, Ben, uh, has Korea. And uh, Therese Sampe, or Teresa, has Nigeria. So, Good luck, everybody. Yeah, so if Ben R took uh, Korea, I saw there was a, I thought there'd be a bidding frenzy for Korea, but uh, anyway. All right, guys, uh, here's the case, uh, sealed case all around. Sealed, sealed, sealed. So let's go in from the bottom so we can open it up and it all out. All right. Let us number these just so we'll have some organization. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. All right, guys, box number one. 
let's see what the serial number is on this baby. 063. Yep, there it is. 063, box number one. Guys, and if we, last couple days, uh, we've been losing signal. Um, it's been cutting off sometimes in the middle. Uh, if it does cut off, please start texting like crazy. So sometimes I don't notice that it's gone off, but I do try to check the text uh, constantly. So if you guys lose picture, just text that no picture, and uh, I will load it on again. Anyway, here we go. First pack. Uh, oh, actually, forgot to do something. This is an eBay break, so. 610, July 8th, just in case you were wondering what time it is. Now you know. And here is the first pack. Whoa, we got a blue right off the bat. No fooling around. Getting right down to business. Frank Lampard, England. No fooling around here. We got a uh, Ronaldo base also. Let's see what number that is. Number 57 of 199. Yeah, thanks, Mom. Good luck to you. Let's get Mr. Lampard into a sleeve. First pack, Frank Lampard. Yeah, about uh, halfway at the number six box. I'm going to have to take a couple minutes break uh, to make some room and organize the base cards for the second half of the break, but that'll be a good hour uh, down the road. Chile, team card. Vincent Company, Belgium, World Cup stars, red, white, and blue prism. Xavi Alonso, prism. Rafa Marquez, Mexico, Cup Captains. Metro Blue, Greece, Net Finders. Brazil uh, Germany game was a massacre. Felt bad for Brazil, but that was uh, was obviously they were outclassed. Uh, Botang, uh, Ghana. I don't know. I don't know who I'd rather see in the final. I guess both of those games, Argentina or Netherlands, either one would be fine. But oh, is that a? Wait a minute. What the hell's going on here? That's weird. This is weird. There's something strange going on. No, sorry. Thought it was a auto, but it's not. Guardians, Manuel Noya. Thought for a second it was a reverse auto, but no, nothing. False alarm. Uh, well, for the eBay, uh, the base I uh, ship. Um, are you in this, uh, John Matt? If you're in this in one of the eBay spots, if you want random base, let me know. I'll be glad to send you random. Otherwise, for eBay, I've got to sort. 
England, red, white, and blue, prism. Yeah, otherwise, uh, you know, whoever wants base, I ship them base. I use it to usually make sets. I've got about 20-something of them already, so anyway. Luis Figo, Portugal. Uh, yeah, it depends on uh, if people are interested. Usually I do three box um, draft uh, breaks after this. So, you know, if, uh, if people are still want to hang out after this and do that, that's fine. Paul Pogba, France. Mm -hmm. Messi and Neymar base. Guardians, Tim Howard. No, the regular, not not eBay. I'm not on eBay right now. I just I, I kind of go on eBay as a last resort. Uh, World Cup stars, Cavani. Um, sometimes on three boxers, I'll I'll go on eBay, you know, for a couple days uh, just to get some more people over here. But usually, the the style we've been doing has been uh, three box draft style. You draft four teams per spot. Uh, Fifty dollars. Uh, World Cup stars, Pele, $50 gets you four teams in three boxes, uh, 48 for each additional spot. That's shipped uh, without base. Base shipping is $3 extra. Once you pay the three bucks, then you're good to go for no matter how many you do. Uh, Gokhan, Inler, Switzerland. So basically, we end up randoming spots one through eight, and then uh, we draft third round reversal format so the eight pick gets first pick in round two and three but this was a pick your country style break uh, last few case breaks we kind of alternate we do one this way and then we do one uh, draft style yeah you gotta wean yourself off uh, huh so yeah I got the uh, Three more cases, one of them sold, so I have two more cases, and then I don't know. I'm going on vacation from the 11th to the 18th, so I don't know if I get back. Whoop, there's an auto. I believe that's an auto. Yep, that's an auto right there. We'll get to that in a second. Our first auto, right there. Uh, you know, so I won't be able to break again after Thursday until the 19th, so we'll see. Uh, how much interest there is. Ah, blue team card, Belgium. 35 of 199. Who's got Belgium? Belgium goes to Sarah. So we have two numbered cards. Sarah's got Belgium and into cable 69 had England and the Lampard. Blue. And then we've got an auto there that we will get to in about three packs, four packs. Oh, you got a messy auto? That's sick. Are you trying to sell that messy auto? Uh, Cup Captains, Gokhan Inler. Hey, what's up, man? Alex, how are you? Doing a little uh, case break here to kill the time. Waiting on that auto over there, see what it is. Italy, Spain, matchups, Cellini and Ramos. Uh, that's going to be one of the numerous randoms that we're going to have to do at the end of this. Not 
too bad, man. Oh, it's great. Yeah, no, that's that's cool. Yeah, I'm still I'm trying to put together the set and uh, Messi, Ronaldo, or a few that I need. Lionel Messi, World Cup stars. I didn't think I was gonna be able to do it, but uh, we got lucky enough to hit a uh, Ronaldo Pele duel and uh, sold very well. So hoping to use that money to maybe complete the set. All right, here we go. Good luck, everybody. First auto goes to. Oh, he rears his head back. Mr. Sami Nasri. Well, we got to start low and work our way up. You know? Chris. Yeah, it's still an auto. So Chris T hits the first auto. Congrats to Chris. Get Mr. Nasri some clothing. There you go. Equipe de France. Yeah, I kind of had a feeling because as far as I know, France is the only team that is all dark blue like that. There's a couple of other ones that are like U.S. is dark blue on the top and then kind of grayish on the side, but... When you see the all blue, it's uh, usually France. Congrats to Chris. Oh, box one, kind of slow, but we'll get pick up the pace here. Box number two. Zero, three, one. Okay, so the serial numbers are fairly close. I think the last one was zero, three, six. So you know, some box, some cases have serial numbers that are just kind of all over the place, and then other ones kind of go in order. Serial number ending three. Okay, awesome. Then that's what's uh, hot at the moment. I guess I should have. I, I never went back to see what serial number that uh, Pele Ronaldo duo was. I guess I should have probably remembered that one. Let's see if it was particularly to see if it was like part of the. Um, you know, group of serial numbered boxes. I imagine those were probably randomly inserted. All right, pack number one seems to be having the uh, numbered cards because we hit a purple right off the bat. Back to France again. Mr. Paul Pogba doing karate. Purple. Seventy of ninety-nine. Yeah, Mr. Pogba some clothing. <laughs> Mr. Pogba. Bird here yet? Not yet. We got fifty one hundred, Pedro. We sold it. Uh Frank Lampard, England. So it sold already five thousand one hundred. It was the second highest sale on eBay. Uh by a mile. The number one selling card was the messy one of one auto. Uh, sold for fourteen thousand, but then the next highest was five, and we went fifty one hundred. So very happy with that sale. Uh, Fortaleza, red, white, and gold prism. Yeah, not bad at all, man. Can't uh, can't complain. That'll be a nice little uh, payday. Hopefully, I, I insured it for the full uh, five thousand. It's going to Hong Kong, so uh, De Jong, Netherlands, uh, and uh, you know went back and forth with the guy. You know, hopefully, uh, keeping our fingers crossed, there won't be any issues. But I took pictures. I 
anyway, did all kinds of stuff, hopefully, so. That's right, man. Ronaldo, Messi. Matchups. Yep, we pulled me and uh, Sarah, blonde princess, uh, in here. We're lucky enough to share. We did a case break draft style. Uh, we did the random. She had pick one. I had pick two. She took Brazil. I took Portugal. And uh, sure enough, we hit a numbered, uh, the prism version, uh, numbered one out of ten. Pele Ronaldo duel. So then in the last four cases, that's a Ronaldo auto, a Messi auto, Pele Ronaldo duel, a Suarez refractor to 25, and a Baggio, all in the last four cases. So hopefully we can keep it going. Yeah, the you know last four cases by far have been the best. Eden Hazard, red, white, and blue prism. Because those first uh, you know two or three cases, I mean, we had a nice hit here and there, but that first case break we did was pretty horrible. Uh, and then we had that one three auto case way back. I mean, every other one has had six autos, but actually the three auto case wasn't that horrible because it had a Pele in it and it had a couple of nice, uh, it had a gold prism and uh, power gold and a regular gold and a couple of cracked ices. So it actually wasn't too bad. Yeah, exactly. I hadn't hit a Ronaldo. Um, I started off, I think, the first card, England, the team card. Uh, I kept saying I had to hit a Ronaldo or Messi. I hit the Messi, and then in the very next case, we hit the Ronaldo. And uh, in the very next case, we uh, we hit the duel. Three cases, and that was a hot three cases. Messi base. Sarah has, I think she has Portugal, Portugal, Belgium, Japan, and Russia. So there we go. That one's going to Sarah. Cristiano Ronaldo, red, white, and gold prism. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's what I... You know what ticked me off? I was talking to is Sook still in here. I was talking to Sook about it. Is those damn uh, and I think Mon had emailed me those stupid El Samba one of one autos. All of a sudden, there's like a gazillion one of ones and one of one autos on eBay, and it's flipping Panini selling them. That's kind of BS in my opinion, at least. Robin Van Persie kind of dilutes the uh, value of these one of ones because they're selling like one of ones, like they're popcorn. You know. Yeah, they, they they came out with this. It's called El Samba. It's like a, it's not the one of ones that you pull out of here, but it's like a parallel one of one, and uh, it's just ridiculous. It, it, go look on eBay. Type in Panini one of one World Cup, and like freaking they had seventy seven one of ones listed this morning when I looked. And it's not just regular one of ones. It's like one of one Pele auto, one of one you know Beckenbauer auto. Uh, one of one, Messi, Ronaldo. I mean, they just, uh, yeah, leftover stickers. Yeah, some of them are autographed, some of them are not. Uh, Vincent, company, Belgium, World Cup stars. But still, that's kind of, you know, I think that's kind of cheesy of Panini to, you know. I mean, it's so hard to hit the one of ones, and then they go and list like 50 million of them. Yeah, it's kind of, uh, you know, I, I think it's uncool to put it mildly. Falcao, Colombia. Because, you know, I've gone through, this is what, case number 13, and I haven't hit a one of one yet. So that's how hard those one of ones are. David Silva, red, white, and blue prism. No, those were just a separate, uh, those were never meant for the packs, I guess. Uh, Panini does the same thing with its football, any of its Prism products. It comes out with these, their own, like, side version of a one-of-one. One. So, it's not really, I mean, 
It's kind of this product, but not really. You can't get those cards in boxes. Panini just decides to print out some one of ones so they can sell them for big money. Yeah, that kind of sucks. That's what I thought too. You know, because it kind of dilutes the whole value of everything else. And I'm assuming it's Panini because I was looking, but then the same company is selling like $2 holders. So I'm like, is this really Panini? But it does say Panini America as their uh, screen name. So Cup Captains, Gianluigi Buffon. But, I mean, who else could come up with that many one of ones other than Panini is, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I would guess. Who else could it be? Unless it's like dad owns the company or something. Uh, we got a blue. Deutschland, Ozil, World Cup stars. Nice. Going to, I think, Pedro. Yep, Pedro has Germany. Yeah, nice little game. Missed an easy goal today, but, you know, which would have made it 8 nothing. And, uh, you know, Brazil at least got one goal at the end there. Get Mr. Ozil some clothing. Yep, it's a full case break. Broke up stars. Where are you at, DJ? Are you? Uh, I, I can't remember which part of Canada. Were you in Toronto, or I'm gonna actually be in Toronto next week? Ah, yeah, I'm going to be in Toronto uh, on the 11th. A space, Netfinders, Giuseppe Rossi, from the 11th to the 18th. Well, actually, not technically Toronto. We're, well, my uncle lives in Toronto. My uh, cousins, they live in, is it Oakville, outside of Toronto? It's like half hour outside of Toronto. Cameroon. Yeah, I know. We did the... Uh, it's been kind of busy the last couple days. Uh, when was the last break I did? Um, a couple days ago. Not, well, we, we did a few over 4th of July. Uh, Sergio Aguero, Argentina, Netfinders. We did a few. I think the last one I did was on the 6th. So I didn't break yesterday. I broke the day before, but just uh, I think I finished that case and then I was kind of low on product, but I got three more cases today. So, uh, And that's the end of it. Uh, Sergio Romero, Argentina. I think at least. I think my guy sold out. I hear other dealers though, they still have product. Box number three. That was kind of a no auto in box number two, by the way. Zero six nine. Yeah, I know Oakville is about, I think it's about half hour towards Hamilton from Toronto, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, where is Denny? Denny not here? Yeah, he's in this break. He's got uh, Columbia and Ivory Coast. Yeah, Denny has Columbia and the Ivory Coast in this one. Box number three. Good luck, everybody. Hey, did you guys lose picture? Okay. Are we back? Because it says we're still on. Are we back? All right, we're good. Yeah, because it never usually it goes off there, but it didn't go back, um, go off this time. 
Well, pack number one again. See, in this one, usually I, I haven't had pack number one have the hits, but this one uh, it's right off the bat. Pack number one. Asamoa John of Ghana. Numbered 87 of 199. Get some clothing for Mr. John. John, eighty seven of one ninety nine. Yeah, a lot of France and a lot of Ghana. Uh, hopefully, we'll start uh, hitting some big ones shortly. Portugal, team card. USA Prism team card. Addicted to getting ink as in uh, tattoos or addicted to getting ink as in uh, autographs? Jermaine Jones. I don't know, that's what I was thinking. Ink, uh, is that uh, tattoos? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I guess those can be, uh, some of them can be pretty costly, huh? Cup captains, Claudio Bravo of Chile. Messi base. Ah, wow. And I know some can be, uh, what, some, I guess the nice one can take days. Uh, you got to keep going back and back, huh? Uruguay, net finders. Oh, Toronto FC? Yeah, I guess. I will. Toronto FC, I know they've got, I, I don't really follow the MLS very much, but I've heard, uh, who do they have? They have a couple of good Julio players. Cesar. Who do they have? Oh, yeah, Julio Cesar, yes. I guess he's heading back, Cochran. Maybe, uh, <laughs> no, actually, I think he has to play in the third place match. So. <laughs> I think he has to play in the third He has to play in the third place match, yeah. Oh, and Michael Bradley, not bad. Uh-oh. No. Guardians. Navas, let me see. I'm not sure if that's the day. I don't know for sure. Uh, I know one day when we get there, we're going to... Um, I think we're going to probably go to um, visit, uh, I think, Niagara Falls. I'm not sure. And then one day we're going to probably go like fishing or something like that. Uh, United States, Tim Howard. Usually go up to cabins up on the lakes there um, for a few days. This time I think we're going to skip the cabins. But Hey, Toronto is a nice city, man. That's not cool. Toronto is awesome. Andres Iniesta, World Cup Stars. Yeah, I'll let you know if I end up there. I'm not sure. It's kind of 50-50. Um, if we go, it would be on the Canadian side. You know, we wouldn't go to the U.S. side. But um, Eden Azard, 
I'm not sure about that yet, but I'm trying to just figure out fun stuff to do um, while we're there with the family. I, I mean, I've been to Niagara Falls a, a bunch of times, but I think the last time my kids went, um, oh, my son wasn't that young. My daughter was, she's 14 now. I think she was like four or five, so I don't think she remembers a whole lot of it. Guardians, Courtois, Belgium. But, uh, yeah, what else are we going to do? I don't know. Maybe Canada's Wonderland. I, I'm not crazy about that place. It's uh, always really crowded and crazy. Kafu. Because the but my daughter she's fourteen so, and I remember it had like a water park and all that stuff. Oh, so Caesar's not coming back. No crossword. Yeah, no problem, man. I'll give you my. Uh, you know, I, I think I don't know if you have my text number. Uh, Diego Forlan and Landon Donovan, USA, Uruguay matchups. Uh, if you don't have my text number, I can we can exchange texts and uh, and see what's up. I guess probably if we go to Niagara Falls, we usually end up in the casinos over there. Mauricio Isla, Chile. I don't know what age, because my son's like 19. I don't know if he can even get, can he get into the casinos on the Canada side, or is it 21 for gambling? I know, I think drinking in Canada is 19. At least it used to be when I was young, because I remember going to Canada to drink when I was 19. Oh, everything's 19? Oh, that would be cool. So he'll be uh, happy to hit the casinos with us. Yeah, you guys are all from, that's weird, because Sarah's from close to there, DJ's from close to there, K Buckle's from close to there. It's 19, yeah, I know, all you guys are, have a uh, big, uh, hell, I should bring a case and we should uh, crack open a case while I'm there. I'm just kidding, I don't think I could carry a case, but <laughs> between all of you guys, uh, we've got like, yeah, that's weird, I mean, so many people, I you know, from that upper either the US side or the Canadian side of uh, Lake Ontario area it's Arian Robin and Philip Lom Netherlands and Germany that'll get random yeah let's do it <laughs> let me carry a case of it yeah I don't know how I that would be pretty cool ah purple Looks like a World Cup Stars or a Guardians. I can't tell yet. Oh, looks like a World Cup Stars. It is Diego Forlan, Uruguay. Chris Bird. 71 of 99. All right, we're going to have to start uh, getting this uh, party rolling here um, and kind of slow between the purple and blue. Let's see. <laughs> Diego Forlan goes to Chris Bird. Only one auto so far. Uh, Captain Company, I, yeah, I mean, if you guys uh, want to, yeah, sure. I've got two cases that I can, you know, I have two new cases. So, I mean, obviously we don't do another case, but we can do three boxers or six boxers, depending on what you guys want to do. Uh, Barry, Ivory Coast. Uh, we'd have to, I imagine we'd probably have to do a draft style. Um, so, we need eight people. I'm always up for joining those myself. So, I guess we'd only need seven people. 
but let's see we'll probably once we get to about box 10 or 11 we can see uh, how many people are in here and how many people uh, want to break Fuleco gets randomed last pack in box number three not much going on in box number three we had a purple and a blue Let's see if we got an auto in this box otherwise it's on to box number four yep, no auto in this box Manuel Neuer Deutschland probably soon to be World Cup champions the way they're going I knew I should have put big money. I put a hundred bucks on Germany today to win like a hundred. Um, should have put like came close to putting five hundred, but then I'm like ah, zero three two. I have a friend who put a thousand on Netherlands to win uh, at seven to one, and so he's obviously. Uh, Going to be watching with a lot of uh, interest tomorrow. Yeah, Kobe or Luck would be nice. You guys would all have a shot. That's another one I haven't hit yet is the Kobe or the Luck. A six box draft. That's fine. If we can get people to do a six box draft, I think those are 95. Um, so, uh, Vincent Company, Cup Captains, and you get four teams. You know, we random the draft spots and then we uh, draft. The three boxers are 50, but the six boxers, you know, I discounted a little bit. Netherlands. Team card. It was, you know, I got them at minus 110, so I had to actually, it was like almost dead even. Uh, so it didn't really matter who you bet, you had to bet 11 to win 10, the way my bookie had it. Uh, so I had to lay 110 to win 100 on Germany. World Cup stars, and that was to qualify, so that that's how I like to bet it, because I don't like to bet the one where. You know, if a tie comes up, you lose, and you know, then the numbers are all out of smell. By the way, Buffon, Italy was the last card. Yeah, so you know, to win 500, I would have had to lay 550. But I, you know, I mean, I really felt Germany was going to win. I, but you know, you never know. I obviously didn't think it was going to be that easy. Uh, Spahik of Bosnia, by the way, was the last card. Yeah, I mean, going back now, I would have bet the house on that game. All right, cool, Captain Company. Either way, we'll, once we get, like I said, down to like box 10 or 11, we can uh, take a pull. Uh, Curtiba, host city. Netfinders, Ivory Coast, Drogba, oh, yep, we got an auto, auto going right there, auto number two, waiting for us, oh, let's hit another uh, prism auto on this one, I think, that's what we got to do. And I hit a prism auto. Oh, nice. Is that what I think it is? Yep. All right. We got an auto and we got a cracked ice in this box. So we got cracked ice, auto. We shall get to those in a bit. So hopefully it'll be uh, something good on the cracked ice. Cup Captains, Inyama, Nigeria. Oh, 
Why did I show uh did I show Spain on the what on the cracked ice or on the auto? I, I didn't notice anything, so you guys might have beat me to it. Pele World Cup stars. You got Spain in this one. Uh, Spain, I think, was one of the ones that went on eBay. Oh, yeah, but Mon, Mon grabbed it. So, so, so has Spain. Ha, uh -uh. there you go. You're rooting for yourself then. Of course. Netfinder Zeko. Oh, yeah, how, you bought that one, right, Antonio? Yeah, I remember you telling us about that. I think you got a good deal on it. All right, this one's a blue. Joe Hart, England. England hitting the blue inserts so far. 13 of 199. Lucky 13. Yeah, the you know, if you don't refresh, like I refresh every like 10 or 15 minutes, usually what I do is I open two windows. That way when you refresh one, you can keep watching the other one and you won't have to listen to the commercial for like 30 seconds or a minute. So I usually open two windows. But uh, yeah, if you don't refresh, like within half an hour, you'll be like lagging by about a good 30 seconds. Joe Hart, England. So usually that's what I do to avoid the really long lag. Because sometimes I'll be looking at the at the computer that's not live, and like right now I'm looking at it, and I'm barely showing the Joe Hart card. So, and I'm already opening, uh, you know, well into the next pack. So, DDA Drogba and Falcao, Colombia, Ivory Coast. So I'll refresh that baby every you know 15, 20 minutes. But if you open two windows, then you don't have to worry about losing part of the picture to commercials. Oh, Mr. Pele again. Red, white, and blue prism. Yeah, it could be a lot of countries. Spain is, is one of them. Uh, Marcelo, Brazil. But there are at least two or three other countries I can think of that that could be as well. Cup captains, Strutman, Netherlands. Yeah, on the... Uh, Pele Ronaldo duo. When I pulled it, I you know usually the second card in the auto box is like on that one. The second card was a insert, but on the Pele Ronaldo duo, the second card United States team card. The second card was a regular base, so I just went like this, and all of a sudden I saw Pele and Ronaldo when I covered it back up. But I knew right away what I thought I had hit, and uh, sure enough, it was. Oh, Messi Purple 40. That's not bad. I don't have any purples. I have a couple of Messi Reds and Ronaldo Blues and Rafael Varane, Red, White, and Blue Prism. I'm going to just probably list like eight or nine Reds together and eight or nine Blues together. It's too much of a pain to ship individually. Really? Oh, I better get them on then. I think I have a net finders and a base, I believe, of Messi, and I have a base of Ronaldo. Xavi Hernandez. I think the Ronaldo is blue. I think the Messi is red, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I know a lot of people are, I would imagine a lot of people are trying to put the 201 base set together, like in blue or red or something. That would be pretty cool. Japan, red, white, and blue prism. I haven't seen any of them on sale yet online. Have you guys seen any like 201 card sets in the colors? I would think that would be like really cool to have a, 
like a purple or a red or a blue uh, complete set. I've seen the smaller parallels, but I haven't seen a complete base set. I don't think I have all of, are you talking to me, uh, Chris? I don't think I have all the messy um, numbered cards, but I have a few of them. Antonio Valencia, Ecuador. All right, last pack. Then we're going to get to the cracked ice and the auto. So base. Sorry, guys. Give me one second. I'm going to check something before we get into the... Oh, we're good. All right, let's go crack dice first, and then we've got an auto over there. Here it is, crack dice. Good luck. I think uh, I don't know what this is. Yep, that looks pretty crack dicey to me. Oh, is it a Guardians? Oh, no, it is a team card, crack dice. Oh well. I guess if you've got Honduras, that's a nice hit. See who's got Honduras. Honduras. Man has Honduras. It is a Honduras Crack Dice team card numbered 23 of 25. So who has all the messy now? Someone has all the messy numbered cards? Nation of Honduras wants that card, that's right. Yeah, these, uh, I don't know about Honduras. I know the team cards of the better teams uh, sell okay. Uh, you know, the reds and the greens and the golds. There you go. So, so, so. Yep, mine has uh, Honduras. Wow, for 125 bucks, that's pretty awesome. All right, let's get to that auto over there. I haven't forgot about that one. Let's go this way. All right, here we go. Good luck, everybody. Nope, that is not. Oh, yeah, that looks like that is the team that just uh, demolished Brazil. Philipp Lahm of Deutschland. It's going heat. So, so, so. No, that's not so, so, so. Who's that? Pedro. Sorry. Pedro has Germany. Where is Pedro? Pedro was in here, I thought. There he is. Smiley face. I'm telling you, that's one guy that is extremely undervalued. His autos are selling for way less than they should be, uh, considering he's probably one of the best players in the cup so far um, his autos are selling for like 40 bucks and uh, I picked up a couple and it's because I think he's way undervalued I mean maybe if they win the cup it might uh, help yeah I guess it's just the defenders aren't as sexy as strikers for collectors Philip Lom Germany yeah, see, when you see the red up there, it just depends. I, I usually don't show this, so that could have been Portugal, could have been Germany, could have been England, could have been uh, Spain. There's about, you know, the red up there. That's like, there's a good five, six countries that have red on top. But it could have been Spain. Guardians uh, Pleticosa of Croatia. So four boxes down. Two autos down and a cracked dice so far. Five. Looks like a serial number 99. We'll find out in a second. Yeah, you know, Beckenbauer sells well. Um, Klinsman was selling well. He's kind of dropped a little bit. Uh, 
Ozil is drop selling well. He was dropped low. Is that nine nine nine? Eight nine nine nine. Maybe that's a good omen there. We got nine nine nine. Last three digits. Look at that. Nine nine nine. Wild nines. Yeah, I picked up a uh, Beckenbauer. I needed him for the set. I uh, guy. I needed Beckenbauer, Pirlo, and uh, Clint Dempsey. I didn't have any of those three, and I got the three of them for two fifty ship. So I got the Beckenbauer for like one thirty five, the Pirlo for like sixty five, and the uh, I think Dempsey for like fifty or something like that. Red. Yeah, every box so far has had an auto in pack number one. I mean, not an auto, sorry, a numbered card in pack number one. Uh, Tim Cahill, Australia. That, I'm sure, is going to Chris Bird. That's right. He always has Australia in my breaks. 20 of 149. Hey, there you go, Paul. Yeah, I don't think Chris is in here yet. He said he's got, I think he's, yeah, I think it's a work time over there right now. He was working, and then he said he's going to be off uh, tomorrow, I think. Tim Cahill, 20 of 149. Sure, if you guys are going to be around tomorrow, I'm going to be doing a, uh, personal case so I'll probably be on for a good two three hours uh, at the same time tomorrow breaking through a case Costa Rica team card Yeah, Beckenbauer for only a hundred bucks. You know, I saw, but Beckenbauer usually I, I have I've been bidding on him consistently. Buffon, World Cup stars. I haven't been able, and in every one I bid like one twenty five, one thirty. I haven't been able to get them in the last like I don't know. Check out the last three or four sales. They regularly are over a hundred and forty. I I know like one or two might have sold for like a hundred, and I might have missed it, but uh, it's hard to get him under one thirty. Miguel Layun, Mexico. Yeah, even in the last week, I, I bet, uh, you know, 140, 130. No, it's for Chris, actually, for Chris Bird. Noya and Tim Howard. Oops, I got to put this in the wrong pile. Uh, so, I mean, I'll be on for a good uh, two, three hours tomorrow again. Netfinders, Van Persie, Netherlands. Valencia, Ecuador. Yeah, I think it's quite expensive to, you know, have these cases shipped uh, overseas. Uh, so it's probably more feasible to have just the hits uh, sent. Ospina, Guardians. What I usually do for the overseas uh, people uh, is they want base. I mean, I put together these sets and then I just, uh, you know, especially people who buy a lot, I would just send sets. I think that's a, yeah, that's a Eusebio. Eusebio card, Portugal. Give that one a little glove and some clothing. As opposed to uh, you know shipping uh, the unopened case, and I think there's some customs issues too with some countries. Uh, use a bio card. 
Yeah, sell the Brazil card. So I'm gonna. Yeah, I, I had a Neymar auto. Well, actually, I didn't sell the Neymar. I traded the Neymar auto to. I think Ben. Is Benny in here yet? Oh, Benny's not here. Oh no, he's here. Benny's back. Benny's here. Yeah, you know, it's. I still think you know there's not gonna be any problem with like people like Neymar or. Um, also, Germany, Neymar or Pele, uh, yeah, it's they're gonna hold value long run. Yeah, I don't know, you know, what the problem is, but I think there were some issues with shipping, like a case, Luka Modric. I'm still waiting to see. I, I shipped a big uh, box to Chris uh, in Australia, and I don't think he's got it yet, but I'm hoping that he'll get everything without a problem. Customs won't give him a problem, because that one had some expensive cards in it. It had the uh, Messi auto in it and uh, you know a bunch of other autos. Okay, that was about a good like three, four weeks worth of breaking uh, I shipped to him. Yeah, that's pretty uh, pretty cheesy. I, I know. I guess that's why they keep Embolhi of Algeria. I because if you look at that Panini America, it was like brand new. They just created it like a few weeks ago, and I was like, I swear I've seen that like five times. They create like a new uh, username every time they do this with uh, you know because they do the same thing with their football prism and their baseball prism. Every prism product they put out, then they flood these. You know, BS one of ones. Samuel Eto. Yeah, I mean, it cost them, you know, 10 cents to make the darn card, and they uh, sell them for a thousand. You know? Red? I think it's a red. Is it a red? No, it's not a red. Netfinders Falcao. Oh really? The no way. The the one of one Pele. They have a one of one Pele Ronaldo Samba auto. Oh man, that that sucks. Okay, so I'm glad we sold that thing, uh, Sarah. Endo, Japan. Because, yeah, that doesn't bode well for, you know, because, yeah, that's like, how hard is it to hit that, you know, crazy hit and then they just uh, pull one out of there, you know what? Oh, yeah, I've got to see this. i got to see this one. Oh yeah, that's bullshit. Sorry, pardon my French if kids are watching. Well, at least they put a real... Is that even Ronaldo's auto? Look at that auto for Ronaldo. It looks horrible. It doesn't look anything like his auto. First of all, you can't even see the autos with these Samba cards. It's up to $4,000 already. Well... Considering our sword for five thousand, I guess it's uh, probably going to go for more than that. I would think. Yeah, I didn't see that one coming. One of one, uh, Pele, Ronaldo, El Samba. Yeah, because they're you know they just and that's what they're doing. They don't throw them all on at the same time, but they've been. Uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know what kind of value those El Samba cards will have. Samuel Eto, Cameroon. I mean, I imagine though. You know, I was bidding on a few. I mean, I'm tempted to, you know, if you, if they're selling for cheap, to pick one up. But they're not selling for cheap. Purple, I believe. Looks like a Guardians, maybe, or a Netfinders. Guardians. Purple Jasper Sillison of the Netherlands. Guardians. 
eBay one of one, 99 of 99. There you go, eBay one of one. We've got Netherlands. Netherlands got is Pedro. Yep, well, you got the uh, right teams, uh, Pedro, with Germany and Netherlands. You figure those could be the two teams in the finals, or at least two of the three teams that are still alive. Yeah, the guy that uh, bought from us uh, paid 5100 for the uh, the card we hit. I've been emailing him back and forth. You know, his first offer was four thousand, and then we went back and forth like two times, and then his third offer, finally fifty one hundred, was too good to pass up. Uh, Cup captains Javier Mascherano. He had bought a Messi refractor auto, a Ronaldo refractor auto, uh, like twenty five hundred, I believe, on one of them he paid, and uh, on the Ronaldo, I don't know how much he paid on the Messi, but. They go for like close to two grand. And he was really excited. He was the one who was most interested in that card right off the bat. Yeah, it sold for 5100 uh, Paul. I don't know if I told you if you were on when I mentioned that. Yep, you did. Oh, thanks. Cannavaro, Italia. It's half Sarah's, so we're uh, hopefully keeping our fingers crossed that it will get to him without problems. Uh, six. Yeah, it was the second highest sale on eBay um, for this product. Although now with all this bullshit, uh, pardon my French again, with all this crappy, uh, you know, one of ones that Panini's flooding the eBay with, I imagine it won't be the second highest sale for long. Because I'm assuming that one of one will sell for more than five grand. Yeah, that box was a dud. What did we hit in that? We hit, well, I think that Solison, and I think that was what we had out of that box. Uh, not very good. Two autos so far. We should uh, hopefully have an auto in this one. We need uh, something uh, really good to get us going here. Yeah, you got a purple keeper. That wasn't bad. Cup captains, Shurikov of Russia. This is box number six. Uh, after this box, I will just uh, take about five minutes to open up some room, get rid of all these base cards, move them over. Russia, team card. And then uh, we'll crack the second half of the case. Prism, Buffon, and Casillas. Italy, Spain. Yeah, I guess that, that signature of Ronaldo looks horrible on that one you just posted. Um, Royce, Germany. I mean, I, I couldn't really tell what, what, what it was because it's hard to see it against that Samba background, but it really didn't look very much like his signature. Uleko, Prism. Messi base.
Netfinders, Royce, Germany. Guardians, Itanje, Cameroon. Something colored. Oh, it is a red Fuleco card that'll get randomed amongst everyone. 76 of 149. Sorry, guys. That'll get random at the end. Box number six, only two autos so far. So I'm thinking we should be uh, coming up on an auto here soon. Netfinders, Kurjakov, Russia. Yeah, I, I think I saw that too, the little, yeah, that was horrible, the little kids, yeah, a bunch of people, I saw, like, they were showing grown men crying, and women, kids, everybody, like, a national day of mourning, Julio Cesar, I mean, it was almost, it was horrible, that four-minute stretch where they gave up, like, three, four goals, went from, like, one nothing to five nothing in, like, I don't know, four minutes, I think. What is that, Mexican? Yeah, Mexican. What? Uh, I can't see Get me like a quesadilla or something. Like a, um, chicken quesadilla maybe or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, uh, some kind of, you know, just like a burrito or something. I don't know. Not too big. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Yep. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. All right, we got blue. France. Uh, France has been hitting some cards. Matudi. Matidi. Matuidi. 88 of 199. Yeah, the defense was horrible. I mean, that was almost comical. They were like passing the ball around to each other. No, I won't score. You score. And the other guys, no, you know what? You go ahead and score. It was uh, crazy how uh, bad uh, their def defense was in the box. I've never seen anything like that with, like, you know, Brazil. I mean, yeah, if they were playing, like, Tahiti or something, but, you know. Yeah, save some for Arsenal. France. Well, with these cases, all it takes is one card, and it can turn it around real quick. We need to hit like a power gold, a uh, black, uh, a boom auto, or you know something. Maybe another duel. Karagunis of Greece. Oops, sorry guys. Michael Bradley, USA. Uh, 
Uh, not so good so far, card attack. It's been okay. I mean, the two autos have been Lom and uh, Nasri. Uh, Icar Casillas, Spain, but nothing uh, too sexy. We hit a cracked ice, but it was a Honduras team card. So first half has been uh, kind of uneventful. Ivory Coast, Prism. We're hoping these six are going to be a lot better than those first six. Red, white, and blue, Prism, Zuniga of Colombia. Come on, auto. Diego Forlan, Uruguay. Yeah, they didn't put Messi, yeah. I would have loved to see like a Messi Maradona or something like that. That would have been sick. But yeah, Messi is not in the duel. Well, they have Ronaldo Pele. That was kind of, uh, you know, crazy duel. Luka Modric. I thought they would have done like Pele Neymar or something like that, Brazilian maybe, because they already have they have a Ronaldo Pepe duel, and they also have a Ronaldo Pele duel. Pele and Pepe. Dervinho Honda matchups to be randomed. Two more packs in box six. Only two autos in the first. Uh, Six boxes so far, unless we're going to have an auto in these last two packs. Ignashevich, Russia. And the last pack of the first half of the case. Nope, no auto in there. All base. Hmm. Not a real good first half, but hopefully the second half will be a lot better. Give me a couple minutes, guys and ladies, uh, and I will, uh, let me just move these base cards over a little bit, organize them, and uh, we'll get started in about five minutes. Oh. 
All right, what's going on? Let's see. Yeah, I guess, huh? There were a lot of people who got zero. I just got two at what? The oh, the single auto and the dual auto, or is that whose two cards are? Yeah, Close doesn't have a base card. Neither does Hamas. That was kind of weird that Close doesn't have a base card. That's what they thought he was uh, over the hill and wasn't going to be part of the team, I guess. I don't know. He broke the record, scored two more. Yeah, Lampton Donovan has like a gazillion of them. All right, everybody here and ready to go? Let's go to uh, half number two of our break. Let's hope it would be better than, uh, hopefully it will be better than half number one. Box number seven. All right, zero, zero, one. That is for like the number one awesome hit will come out of box zero zero one. There it is, zero zero one. See that right there? Half number two. Here we go. That's it. Uh, yeah, that's all we got out of the first six boxes. So hopefully we have four in the last half. Well, Red Hulk Brazil. One oh nine of one forty nine. Hulk Red. Red going to Brazil. Oh, you sold it? <laughs> Red closely. Netfinders, Kurzakov, Russia. I guess the fact that he broke the record would probably help his uh, prospects. Yeah, Lukaku would have uh, would have been a good one. To include Dravino Honda, red, white, and blue prism. Nagatomo, Japan. Ronaldo base. There he is, aerial assaults of Mr. Close. Diego Forlan and Landon Donovan. Matchups. Guardians, Hugo Lloris of France. Oops, sorry. Hugo Lloris of France. Uh, 
Vienna is Eden Hazard, Belgium, World Cup stars. Zuli Montari of Ghana. Yeah, we got to uh, hit something here soon. Host City, Sao Paulo. I, mean, I don't want to end up with one of those uh, shorted uh, cases. Guardians, Julio Cesar of Brazil. That's a prism. <laughs> yeah, I got a response from Panini. Uh, Kakatani, I think I emailed it to you, to everybody who was on my email list. They basically told me... Uh, too bad, so sad. We don't guarantee any particular number of autos. It said there's between three to seven autos per case. Like I said, I've, this is my 12th case, and I've had six and 11 of them. So, hey, that is that, that is weird. It's not you're not seeing double. That's uh, two packs in a row, two exactly the same card. So far, two autos uh, out of the first six boxes. So we should hopefully be getting four out of the next uh, six. Ecuador. I mean, that has happened a lot where I get two and four. But, um, yeah. The only thing about that case, uh, Ben, was, you know, the autos that at least came out were really good. I mean, Pele, and then we had the Power Gold. I mean, from this case, we really haven't pulled anything really great yet. Cup Captains, Alexander Dominguez. So even though that one was a three auto case, it dollar value wise it, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't horrible. I've hit uh, that there we go. We're we're catching up. I, I have faith. I'm not gonna let you guys down. Auto right there. We're we're gonna hit our six. I am confident that we are going to hit our six. Hoping for a boom there. Let's hope for a big boom. Well, here's a blue. Matchups. Buffon and Casillas. Blue matchups. Numbered 193 of 199. Matchups between Italy and Spain. That'll be random at the end. Oh, nice little random. And we do have an auto right there. I hope a big boom coming up. I'm not going to say anything, but I kind of like the color scheme on that one. Eden Zeko, World Cup Stars. <laughs> yeah, Buffon. Yeah, I know. I get uh, so many Buffons that it's unreal. The first, like, three case breaks that I did had three Buffon autos, I think, in them. Spain, team card. And I've hit Buffon green. I haven't hit a Buffon gold yet. It comes a Buffon number uh, inserts. We're due for a for a Baggio. Hit a lot of Neymar's. I have not. I don't think Baggio is short printed. 
Raphael Varani of France, but I've only hit one uh, Baggio out of like 12 cases. We've hit, I think, one of the, I mean, unfortunately, Nasri is one of the most I've hit, but I've also hit uh, Neymar like four, three or four times. Wait a minute, is that what I think? Yep, we got a gold. We have a gold. It's probably a cup captain's from what I gather there. I believe that is a cup captain's gold. I hope I'm not mistaken, but I believe it is. So we got a gold, and we've got a auto. See, we got a boom box right here. That is the way to start the second half. Argentina, Nigeria matchups. All right, let's do the gold, and then we'll do the auto. Here we go, everybody. Good luck on the gold. Let's hit something good. It looks pretty gold to me. Oh, we've hit a gold of, we hit a power gold of him, and now we hit a regular gold. France is killing it in this. Uh, France is killing it in this one. Let's see. Uh, uh, let's slow roll the number. I'm gonna slow roll the number on this one. We hit one of five on him before. Maybe we can hit up oh, six of ten. Nice hit for Chris. Yep, let me get some that definitely deserves some clothing. Very nice hit for France. Yeah, France always seems to do really well with the inserts. I mean, you know, obviously they don't have very much and they could have done a lot better with uh, coming up with just a Nasri Auto. That was kind of bad planning by Panini, but as far as the inserts go, they are always, I mean, when I divide up the cards, France seem to always have as many cards as pretty much any other country. So they're really loaded with the inserts. All right, let's do this. It is See who we got. Auto time. Yep, I know who that is. Trying to be really careful about. Oh, uh, I was hoping for obviously a Neymar or a Pele, but since I saw that bald pillow over there, I knew. Uh, Yeah, that's how I felt all. But it's still an auto nonetheless. At least we came back with a gold and an auto in this uh, box. Chris Bird takes this one. It's not the auto he asked me to hit for him, but it's still an auto. He didn't ask for much. He wanted a Pele and a Baggio. So he's got Brazil and Italy. Box number eight. So we've hit three autos so far. Mm, it's numbers covered by the Panini sticker, so we will have to check it out after we open the box. Let's see, what uh, combo have we hit? Roberto, Carlos, Nasri, and Lam. Honestly, don't know what that means. Is Walter here? Walter can usually project who the final three autos are going to be based on 
the autos we hit. Because usually when we hit uh, a guy from Argentina, uh, Campus, that means that a Neymar or Messi or something good is uh, is following. All right, here we go. Box number eight. All base. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't think so. We uh, wouldn't be too late. I don't, you know. I've, uh, I know I've hit, uh, like, double Brazilians, like in the last case we hit a Campus, Carlos, and a Neymar, all in the same case. A lot of all base, that usually means an auto. Yep, those are like three all base packs in a row. We have an auto. We have an auto after a base. So maybe that's a good sign. I don't know what it is, but we got an auto. So see we're back on uh, we're back on track with the autos. We had only two in the top, but those two, so we'll be right on our regular auto count after this box. Uh oh. Greece, Georgios Karagounis of Greece, numbered 103 of 149. Had Greece anyway. Greece went to mom. Sergio Ramos, Spain. Guardians, Iker Casillas, Spain. Zuniga, Colombia. Eden Hazard, huh? There we go, Mr. Close again. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of teams that could be those colors. Eden Hazard and Kokorin, I'm sorry, Belgium and uh, Russia. Sammy Kadira, Germany. Great game today. Well, everybody had a great game today for Germany. Iran team card. Uh, 
got a blue. Something really blue. Oh, it is a Porto Alegre, a blue host city card. Numbered 17 of 199. Porto Alegre Blue. That'll be random between everybody. A couple of random inserts. Later, Paul. England, team card. Noya and Tim Howard, Germany and US of A. Netfinders, Landon Donovan. All base. Messi base, Sammy Kadira. Captains, Landon Donovan. Guardians, Begovic, Bosnia. Three more packs and then we will get to our auto. Pirlo, Italia. Guardians, Uruguay, Muslera. Philip Lom, red, white, and a blue prism. All right, ladies and gentlemen, time to move on to the auto. See what we got. Good luck, everybody. Whoa, did we already hit it? Germany auto? Pedro is killing it. Double Germany auto. That, that, that hasn't happened to me before. Two Germanys in one case, but it has now. Mr. Ozil. So he hit a Germany. Lom and a Germany Ozil. So that is auto number four. So 
proposal. Box number nine. Zero two eight. Yep. Yeah, because Chris hit. Uh, Chris has France. Uh, yeah, he had all the French uh, mojo. There's a lot of countries that can surpass both of them. It's just one card, so. Edison Cavani of Uruguay for Chris Bird. Ninety four of one ninety nine. Hugo Lloris, Cup Captains, France. Vincent Enyama of Nigeria. Yeah, Pedro has bought a lot of Germany, that's for sure. Yeah, because usually you draft Germany ahead of most teams too. Japan. <laughs> Jeez. Andre Pirlo, Italia. Host City, Salvador. Switzerland. Well, we got another auto. Not revealing that one, but I'm feeling good about that one, too. That one could be the case hit right there. Three boxes in a row. We were kind of working our way up to the big boom. Netfinders, Giuseppe Rossi, Italia. Yep, I was kind of sneaky about that one. I caught a little glimpse of it. But I'm feeling good about its chances. Licksteiner, Switzerland. Oh, I 
guess that's a blue. Cup Captain's Blue, Dario Serna. Twenty nine of one ninety nine. Dario Serna. Guardians, Patricio, Portugal. Landon Donovan, USA. Netfinders, Mitroglou of Greece. Kambarov, Russia. Italy, England, Pirlo and Gerard matchups. Cup captains, Rafa Marquez of Mexico. Team card, Greece. Yep. Came through with South Korea, huh? Balotelli, aerial assaults, Italia. Few more packs and then on to the auto. Philip Lahm, Cup Captains, Germany. Carlo Costley of Honduras. Last pack, and then on to the auto in this box. All base. All right, good luck, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. There's the auto. It is Italy. Chris Bird in the house yet? Not yet. Oh, yeah. You ask, Chris, and you shall receive. I told you I'm going to hit you a Baggio today and a Pele tomorrow. So there's half number one, as promised.
Yep, he was, and it's got the perfect auto. The whole thing on there. None of it cut off. Yep, that's a uh, big boom. That single-handedly puts him in the lead for the case with one card. Yep, that is a very nice looking card. Yep, now he's hit a Messi, a Baggio, uh, you know, hopefully we'll keep it going for him. There you go, Chris. Congrats, wherever you are. I'm sure you'll be watching later. So now I just owe you a Pele and we're square. Well, that Pele went to the other Chris, not Chris. Sorry. <laughs> that was, uh, we got two Chris's in the house. We got Chris Bird and Chris T. Uh, so, anyway, although they're both doing okay in this break. That's five autos, yep. Now we should still have one more auto, right? There's six autos per case, so we should have one more. Zero, six, two. We started off only, uh, we started off with only two autos in the first four boxes, six boxes. So for a second it looked uh, not good for getting our six autos out of this case, but now it does. Hell, we can even get greedy and try to go for seven. But right now, like I said, 11 or 11 out of 12 cases, we've had six autos, so we should have at least one more auto in these two. Yeah, let me show you all the autos real quick. Uh, Ozil, Germany, Roberto Carlos, Brazil, Philip Lam, Germany, Samir Nasri, France, and last but not least, Roberto Baggio of Italy. Those are the five so far. One, two, three, four, five. Two for Germany, one for Italy, one for France, and one for Brazil. That was team card in there. Yeah, exactly. Look at that. <laughs> Host city, Kwaiba. Netfinders, Neymar. Yeah, this has not been a good case for Argentina. Rafa Marquez, Mexico. I mean, there had, you know, honestly, I can't really remember an Argentina insert either. Yeah, this has been a horrible case for Argentina, unfortunately. Arturo Vidal. Um, I'm sure we've hit some Argentina inserts, but I just can't. I mean, I don't remember hitting any Messi's. I kind of would think we'd remember the Messi's, hopefully. Portugal, Nani, red, 51 of Nani Red. Give me one second, guys. I gotta go grab some more. Uh...
floaters. When I go through top loaders, I get run out of style. I bought like, I think 500 of them, and I thought they would last me, but I'm just going to have to order some more. I've only got about less than, I think I've only got like less than 100 left. Anyway, we are, and maybe we can pull another cracked ice or gold or something. I've had two gold cases before. I've hit double gold a couple times. There's Mr. Buffon again of Italia. Frank Ribéry of France. Thiago Silva of Brazil. Poor guy, I guess he'll get to come back for the third place match. That's a match you never want to play in. That's like the biggest... I don't know why they still do that third place match. That's got to be a Cristiano Ronaldo, World Cup Stars, Portugal. That's got to be hard to play in that match after you get your heart broken in the semifinals. Then you got to go play a third place match. I guess, you know... Good if you're going to give your all your subs a chance to play or something like that. Host City, Porto Alegre. I mean, if it's like Costa Rica would have made the semis or something like that, they would have really, uh, you know, been into a match like that. But somehow I get the feeling like Brazil is not going to be real excited about a third place match. Yoshida, Japan. Tim Cahill, Australia. Vidal and Xavi Hernandez, Spain and Chile. Fernando Muslera. Ghana, team card. We got a purple. Purple. Germany again. Nice break for Pedro so far. Philip Lom. You hit another. Didn't you hit that other purple too? Yeah, you hit another nice purple, the uh, Silicon of Netherlands. So you've been uh, getting some nice ones here, Pedro. Let's hope it's uh, that. Maybe we can hit another one of one. Oh, not quite. 32 of 99. I aim to please.
So yeah, you have a couple of autos, a couple of purples. Yeah, Germany's definitely had a good break. Yeah, Philip Lahm, World Cup stars, purple. I really like the way the purple look, look especially with the uh, World Cup Stars series. That would be a cool set to make, is like the purple World Cup Stars. I think it's about 50, I think it's 50 cards or 49 or 50, something like that. Netfinders, Kurzhakov. This <laughs> one's... There you go, Korea on the board again for Big Ben. That's who's got Korea, right? Big Ben jumped in there and stole Korea from our resident Korean. Sook still here? Nigeria team card, red, white, and gold. Yeah, Ben stole Korea right under, right from under. Uh, Sook. I was I was following the auctions and I saw Sook uh, there leading with Korea, and then all of a sudden I was like, "What happened to Sook?" David Villa of Spain. There's the dude with the fro. Fellaini, Belgium, red, white, and gold. You ever sell your, uh, you still in here, Bobby? Is Huntley still in here? I don't see him. He had a Fellaini cracked ice. I think he was trying to sell before. Uh, Cup captains, Georgios. Karagunis of Greece. Eleven. Zero to nine. We should have one more auto coming out of these two boxes. We've hit five so far. You know, Dylan, that goal that Escobar scored against the U.S., um, I was sitting first row right behind the net of uh, that goal. It was at the Rose Bowl in Pasadena. And I had, they weren't the best seats in the house because they were right behind the net, like ground level. And uh, I, uh, anyway, I mean, obviously it was a great moment for the U.S. because nobody thought the U.S. could beat uh, Colombia. And I was like right behind, and he just kind of slid and, uh, you know, kicked the ball in. Of course, poor guy, yeah, you're right. He got shot a couple weeks later back in Colombia. Dario Serna, Croatia. Yeah, and then they made that, uh, the two Escobars, uh, ESPN, uh, 90 or whatever that show's called. That was actually a real interesting uh, documentary. Yeah, it was the, the two Escobars. It was, you know, one of them was the crazy drug lord, and then the other one was the poor soccer player that got shot. Host City Fortaleza. And they were both from, I think, uh, Medellin, which was the area that, uh, you know, and he had gotten shot in Medellin, I believe. Yeah, back in the 90s, it was horrible because, you know, basically Colombia was run by the drug lords. Perp, I mean, I'm sorry, it's a uh, blue. Swiss.
Switzerland. Shakiri, not to be mistaken with Shakira. Shakiri, 137 of 149. Yeah, there was a, uh, yeah, that, that documentary, it was out, I think it was out last year or the year before, called The Two Escobars. Yeah, I know that, and they were showing how uh, Escobar used to like when he was in prison. He was a, he used to own like one of the biggest clubs in Colombia, and when he was supposedly in prison, he would fly in the top soccer players, Colombian soccer players, to have like exhibition matches for him in the prison. Uh, Mario Mandzukic, uh, Croatia. So his so-called prison. I mean, he basically it was like his mansion. He had you know. Apparently he had like crazy parties there and you know he was running the country basically for a, about a four or five year period. Yeah, it was all that uh, two Escobars, it was really interesting. Deutschland Prism team card. Yeah, we just hit one for your Australian buddy. That's for uh, Chris Bird. Yep, that definitely turned the case around. Uh, there wasn't, you know, it was definitely a below average case, but then with that hit, we're probably a decent case after all. Cesc Fabregas, Spain. Yeah, I've seen the documentary. Yeah, I was at the game. I'm telling you, I was sitting the front row, uh, you know, right behind the U.S., the, you know, not the U.S. goal. I mean, it was the Columbia goal because he scored uh, on themselves. But I was the first. I mean, I could literally, like, I mean, I couldn't touch the net because it was a few yards away. But Ozil and Ronaldo, Colombia and Germany. I had... Uh, for that entire Rose Bowl thing, I had front row seats. Uh, I mean, they're not the best seat in the house. I mean, you can see great when the ball's on your side of the of the field, but when it's on the opposite side, your ground level, uh, you know, in the Rose Bowl, it's you know they're not the greatest seats. They were like class two seats, I think. But yeah, I was uh, like I said, I had front row seats. That was pretty awesome. Cavani and Balotelli. Uruguay and uh, Italy. I went to uh, that World Cup. I had all the games in the Rose Bowl, every single one, including the finals. Uh, I had nearly all the games in Stanford Stadium as well. I saw Brazil play a bunch of games up in, uh, including, uh, I forget, it was like Brazil, Cameroon, I think, Thiago Silva, and uh, Brazil, USA in the round of 16 where Leonardo hit uh, Tab Ramos and fractured his skull. Um, I think it was Pablo Ramos, I'm pretty sure, uh, and got red carded, and then U.S. had 11 against 10 the whole game, and they still lost one nothing. Italia, that was back in the days of Alexi Lawless and uh, Prism Italia. Is that Prism? No, actually, it's not a Prism. That's the base. It was, uh, yeah, Pablo Ramos and. Tony Mayola, all those old school uh, USA players. DDA Drogba. Yeah, you know, that's what I was trying to, if they had HD on it, I was, like I said, I was right behind and like almost right center net. So I've actually tried. Uh, 
seeing that, but it was, you know, I, I couldn't find, uh, you can see, like, you know, the crowd, but it wasn't like HD cameras where you can really make out faces. Akinfeev of Russia. Yeah, that was great. For, and for the uh, Brazil-Italy final, I was sitting about, um, oh, I don't know, maybe about 30, 25, 30 rows up. I mean, the Rose Bowl, I think, goes like 80 or 90 rows. Uh, I was about 25, 30 rows up, kind of, uh, you know, if this is the stadium, I was kind of sitting a little bit uh, corner uh, towards the middle. And uh, Javier Hernandez, Chicharito, Mexico. And when uh, they did the penalty shootout at the end of the match between Brazil and Italy, they did it on our side. So when Baggio kicked his uh, miss, he shot it like five yards over the bar. He like missed it really bad. Some guy like just a few seats. Oh, oh there we go. We got a cracked ice. All right. We got some green cracked ice. We're turning this case around. We're going to put that right there. Some guy about four or five seats over from us caught that ball and held on to it. That's, that's got to be a good uh, memento to have the Roberto Baggio's miss from the uh, PK spot to give uh, Brazil the World Cup. Fellaini of Belgium. All right, we're getting to the last box here. How many people, uh, you guys tell me, do you guys want to do a draft break after this or not? If we get enough people, and then we'd either have to do three or six boxes, whatever you guys prefer. Uh, Landon Donovan, USA. So, anyway, we, we've still got another box to go, but uh, let me know if you guys want to do a break. Uh, I can do one after this. Otherwise, we'll, uh, we'll call it a night. Yeah, draft. Okay. Anybody interested? Let's try a six box or let's see if that'll fly. $95 six box draft. If interested, uh, type a one. Uh, and if you're not interested in a six boxer but would be interested in a three boxer, let me know and you know maybe we can do that. But if you guys want to do half a case draft, a uh, case would be a little too much for me after a full case. I think I'll pass out. But. Yeah, so we're doing six box. Uh, all right, so Pedro, Buck, all right, and I'll be in for one myself. Uh, all right, so we got a six box uh, draft. Wait a minute. No way. Are you kidding me? Holy crap. I think I did it. Folks, I'm pretty sure I did it. I think that's a black. Holy crap. Green and black. I'm going to put that back there. I don't want to get you too excited, but I think we just hit a black. Tim Cahill. Yep, I know I'm doing You see that way back there with the Michael Bradley on top? That's a black. That's a green. Uh, I'm like 90% sure that's a black because I've never seen anything like it. And it looks pretty black and shiny. So I'm guessing it's a black. So that usually means there should be an auto in this case, because usually when we've hit the two real low numbered cards, we've also hit an auto. Guardians, Jasper Sillison of the Netherlands. This just went from a crappy case to a good case to potentially an awesome case. <laughs> this is Germany as well. Gonna buy spots for everybody on <laughs> Pedro. Spots on Pedro, huh? Mexico. I'm telling you, I, I hope we can hit something real sexy like one of the major star players. I, I don't know for sure, but it looked like it's a World Cup star is black, I think, because it, you know, I saw the little thing on the corner, so I guess it could be a Guardians or a World Cup stars. Claudio Bravo. I mean, I had to hit one before uh, I retired from my soccer break. So, uh, since every time we're like, I'm telling you, it's been such a great ride the last four or five cases because 
Every time I, I, I hadn't hit a Messi, I hadn't hit a Ronaldo, we hit a Messi, we hit a Ronaldo. Hadn't hit a duel, hit a Pele Ronaldo. Hadn't hit, you know, Baggio, I mean, it's been crazy. And I had not hit a black, and now we hit a black. All right, Brian Ruiz. Costa Rica. All right, let's get this small matter of this uh, green cracked ice out of the way before we move on to. That better be a black, otherwise, I got you guys all excited for nothing. All right, here's the green cracked ice. Oh, my goodness. Please be who I think it's going to be. Oh, I thought it was going to be a Ronaldo. Sorry, but it's still a solid hit for Portugal. I was hoping it was going to be a Ronaldo, but it's a Luis Figo. Portugal, very solid hit still. That still sells for as good as most autos. 5 of 25. Yep, very nice. Very nice. Let me get some uh, clothing for Mr. Figo. Luis Figo, Portugal, World Cup Stars. That is going to Sarah. Let's see who that. Okay, everybody. Here it is. Our first black. Oh, it's on that side. I don't know. This might be a Guardians. What the heck is this? Or is it a matchups? Whoa! That is going to be a heck of a matchup. Argentina, Brazil, Angel Maria, and Danny Alves, black. Wow. Juan de Juan. I don't know. Do you guys want to uh, talk about that? I don't know if Chris is here. Uh, but who's got Argentina? Uh, Chris and Chris, do you guys want... Uh, Chris T, you're in here. So I think he's in. Is Chris in here? No, we lost Chris. What happened to Chris? We lost both Chris's. Yeah, I would think so. I would think at least a few hundred. Uh, I was going to say, I can wait on that random, and what I can do is allow the two Chris's to either try to buy each other out, or, uh, you know, if they want to sell it and split it. I mean, I have no idea how much that sells for. I imagine it's not... Uh, I would think it's not going to be super huge, but I would think at least a few hundred dollars. Uh, wow, but that's nice to hit a black. Very nice card. Angel Di Maria and Dani Alves, one of one. Yeah, usually I could tell right away when it was on this side. I thought maybe it might be a Guardians, but because usually the World Cup stars, the little World Cup signs on this side. Donovan Forlan went for three fifty. Yeah, I mean, I personally would prefer to have this than Donovan for long because Donovan, and, I mean, these are much better players, I think, uh, than Donovan or Forlan. Um, but, yeah, probably 400 maybe. So what I'll do on that one is uh, I will 
I'm not going to random that one until I hear from the two Chris's on what they want to do. I think uh, Chris Traska and Chris Bird are both. I guess Chris Trasco was in here. He must have taken off for, for dinner or something. Wow, this has turned out to be a hell of a case for uh, Chris Bird. He had uh, Brazil and Italy, so he got this one and he got half of that one. Pretty nice. These black cards are pretty sick looking. I hadn't seen one up close before. Kind of like those power golds, but black. See, that's what's screwed up is that the El Sambas are kind of like, you know, killing the value on these really awesome hits. And it took us 12 cases to get one. Uh, 0 0.33. 0 0.33. 0 0.33. Yeah, I don't. I mean, I would think definitely those two players are both better than Landon Donovan. Uh, I mean, Forlan had his moments before, but I mean, Di Maria. I think generally, I mean, Argentina, Brazil are going to bring a lot more interest than USA, uh, Uruguay. I would, I would guess, but not, not it. I mean, I don't think. I think that's pretty much what those cards usually tend to go for. About three to five hundred is my guess. Uh, so. And it's just cool to have one, you know, one of one. And I'm sure they both would like to have that one. All right, last box. We only have had five autos, so hopefully we should have another auto in here. But we did hit a black. Hit a red here. That was nice. We hit a green and a black in the same box. Our second green, we've had two greens, a gold and a black in this case. That's that's a solid case. And then a Baggio Auto. I'm telling you, we've been really hot lately. Mario Mandzukic of Croatia. And that one is... Let me get, I'm to run out of... Uh, that one is numbered... Manzukic, 148 of 149. Find some sleeves for these guys that fit. Hey, Seth, you're back. Yeah, I guess, you know, you never know what the, uh, I'm guesstimating about. When did that Donovan Forlan, is that a recent sale for 345 or is it from? Because prices have tend to drop a little bit the last uh, week or two from early year in June. Uh, Podolski, Germany. On some players, on other ones it's, you know, gone up, but. Yeah, those are real good-looking cards. Guardians, Julio Cesar of Brazil. The difference between the black and the El Samba is, if you look at the El Sambas, it's almost like a combination of the black and the gold, uh, the ones they do that they sell. It's like black, gold, and green almost, uh, whereas these blacks are all just pretty much black. Um, World Cup stars, Tiago Silva. You know, and they say once you've had black, you don't go back. So hopefully uh, that means we're going to get some more black. Yeah, exactly. They're like a bunch of different car colors on the El Samba. Tiago Silva, Prism, same card. Oh, 
Oh, really? Is that what they're saying? It's like blue and green and um, yellow. Luke Wilshire, Australia. Uh, Chris, <laughs> you own half of this baby. How about a one of one? Black, Argentina, Brazil. So I didn't random it because I wanted to give you, and I mean, I wasn't planning on randoming it. I was going to give you and Chris Bird a chance to talk uh, and tell me what you want me to do with it. Because usually on like anything over like a hundred bucks, I usually, and this one's probably like three to four hundred from what we've been estimating on past sales of similar cards. Yeah, so I'm not going to random it until you guys talk and tell me what to do. Because it's probably, you know, like a three to four hundred dollar card is what I'm guessing. Uh, so I don't want to, you know, I know like that's what, when we hit me and Sarah, we split it. I mean, that's not that huge a dollar amount, but still it's big enough to, you know, really hurt whoever would lose that random. Yeah, I was, I kept saying, Chris, I'm like, what happened to you there? And, uh, you know, we hit the black. Uh, I don't know if you saw this one. Uh, Chris Bird hit the uh, Baggio. I don't know if you were wrong for that. Um, that was a nice hit, too. Bastian Schweinsteiger. Yep, that was my uh, first black that we've uh, hit um, in 12 cases. So, Host City, Porto Alegre. Yep, that made up uh, for the crap uh, Argentina case, because you're right, I don't think I can't, I mean, I'll go through the hits, I'm sure there's got to be an Argentina hit in there somewhere, but usually, like, the Argentina stack of hits is, like, a good, you know, 10, 15 cards, and in this case, uh, not so good until that card, Vincent Enyama of Nigeria. Yeah, well, Chris has a lot of, you know, cards, and you guys can either trade or s one of you can buy out the other one or something. Uh, red, white, and blue. Colombia, what's his name? Uh, Zapata. Yeah, usually the way I do it is... Uh, you know, like when I hit something like that, I mean, the card I hit with Sarah was just too high a dollar value to do that. But I'll just say, okay, well, whoever offers the other one more gets it. Um, like you can just basically like, and I'll give you 150, I'll give you 160, I'll give you 170, you know, and then uh, that's how I've done it a few times. Uruguay team card. Or, you know, we'll just sell it and split it. You know, that's fine too. Uh or, you know, you can trade a couple cards to each other to kind of even out the value. You figure, you know, if we're guessing that's going to be 350 that's about 175 each. Buffon, or 150 175 each. So, you know, you can even it out with uh, either trades or money or whatever. Or if all else fails and you guys want me to random or, or sell, you know, you just let me know. But I'll, I'll let you guys talk first. Cup Captains, DDA Drogba. Let's see, base. Yeah, I, we saw a couple of them. There was one that sold for 235 that was, I forget who it was, and then... The Forlan Donovan one of one sold for three thirty-five. So I, I mean personally, I prefer that to Donovan and Forlan, but maybe about pretty close, I guess. Uh, probably value-wise, I don't know. Got a blue. Looks like it's another host city, I think. Oh no, it's a mascot. Blue mascot. That one's numbered 56, 
of 199. Sorry guys. Get the blue mascot some clothing. Yeah, there was a 230 with Maldrich. Uh, exactly, that's the one we were talking about. And then there was one with Forlan and uh, and Donovan that went for 335, I believe I was told. So, you know, you figure probably maybe 250 to 350 to 400, something like that. Uh, I mean, Di Maria and Alves, they're solid teams but you know not the most uh, sexiest of names as far as players go but still they're Argentina and Brazil so that's a hell of a combo to have there you go there's an Argentina insert red white and blue prism Yeah, how much did the Pirlo uh, Gerard go for? Aerial Assault, Tim Cahill, Australia. Thank you. Yeah, we hit a black. Uh, sorry, guys, let me show this to my son. Angel Di Maria and Danny Alves. It's one of one. Well, at least Danny Alves wasn't yeah. playing for the embarrassment. <laughs> Yeah, it's about it's about three hundred bucks probably three three fifty awesome. something like that. Yeah, and we hit a Roberto Baggio too again. So that was about. Guys, we need to hit another uh, auto in this box, by the way. Otherwise, we're gonna have one auto short. Eden Zeko of Bosnia. Although with the black, I guess uh, we can't complain. The uh, black definitely is worth a lot more than an auto, but still, I would like to hit the six auto count. Croatia team card. Last four packs. Yeah, you know, that's what I'm guessing. I, you know, if I had to guess based on that, if Perlo Gerard went for 345, Donovan Forlan went for 335, I'd put it right about there 300, 325. You know, when you figure after, you know, you figure if you guys sell it on eBay, we're going to probably get 300 after uh, fees, so I don't know. If one of you is willing to buy the other out for like 150 that's about fair. Uh, Dmitry Kambarov, or, you know, whatever else you guys want to do is fine with me. No, we just hit a uh, dual, um, we hit a matchups black. Javier Hernandez and Neymar. Last two packs. Uh, good luck, everybody. No auto in that pack. So, Cup Captains, Landon Donovan. So, our last chance uh, at an auto. Otherwise, we're. Although with a black, a gold, and two cracked dice, I guess five autos isn't uh, the end of the world. But nope, sorry guys, no sixth auto in this case. Uh, although let's go back through the colors. Uh, we hit the black. We had um, two greens. And I know we had a gold in there somewhere too, yeah, and a gold. And then a couple purples and stuff, but uh, a bunch of purples. But as far as the colored cards, uh, we hit uh, the Cracked Ice Figo, the Cracked Ice Honduras, um, the Hugo Lloris Gold, number to 10, and then the Juan de Juan of. Angel Di Maria and Dani Alves. And then our autos. 
Let me get rid of those. Ignacy was our first. Lam the second one. Roberto Carlos third. Messi Ozo four, and we saved the best for last. Roberto Baggio five. So five autos, but we got a black. So not a bad case at all. All right, let's go through the. Um, I gotta set up the random here. Give me a sec, guys. I gotta go through a crap load of uh, inserts and separate these out. Oh, this one's a multiple. We hit a lot of mascot cards in, in this one. Um, all right, well, first off, we're going to do the country randoms. And the way I'll do it is this. Usually I put the inserts, and then we'll do the mascot cards next. And we do them in order. That one is number three. This one is number two, so we'll do them like that. All right, here's what we'll do. We've got one, two, three, and then four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen host city or mascot cards. Okay, we're gonna random all thirty-two countries. Uh, number one is going to get the uh, red Fuleco number one. Number two is going to get the blue Fuleco number one. Number three is going to get the blue Host City Porto Alegre. That's number eight in the set. And then number four and five will get the Prism uh, Host City cards. And then number six and seven will get the base mascot cards. And then number eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen will each get one Host City. Uh, card as well. Okay, and then we're going to have a crap load of these top bottom randoms to do. And uh, I'll put those there because I got to get some sleeves for that one. All right, let me set up the. Sorry guys. Random.org. List randomizer. Get all the countries in there. And then we'll go five times. All right, here we go. We've got uh, Algeria on the top and Uruguay on the bottom. We're going to go uh, five times, and the top three are going to get the numbered cards, and top 13 are going to get uh, cards. Good luck, everybody. One, yes, Chris, I can send you Chris's email shortly. In fact, I'll text them right now. Two, three, four, and five, fifth and final. Good luck. There we go. So the 
red mascot will go to Iran. Find my pen here, folks. This mess of there it is. So the red will go to Iran. Let me print this out too before I forget. Red Iran, uh, blue Fuleco goes to Algeria. And the blue host city Porto Alegre goes to Greece. And then all the way to number 13, uh, basically Spain, Cameroon, United States, Honduras, Bosnia, Russia, England, Colombia, Croatia, and Switzerland will all get uh, cards, uh, either host city or mascot that we had talked about. All right, now we have a crap load of these uh, top bottoms to do. Let me set them up. Uh, you know what, let me text uh, Chris Bird right now, Chris, and let me see if I can uh, find him. All right. Uh, all right. Let me go and do these top bottom randoms now, guys. We have a bunch of them. If I notice there's the same card, I'll try to give each of you one of them. Uh, but sometimes there's like a prism and a non-prism and I'll divide them up, but it's kind of hard to figure out sometimes with so many cards uh, without taking forever. Let's see what else we have here. I'll be able to find this one out. There's this one, this one. All right, for example, uh, these two here, there's a prism and a non-prism. Hold on. Sorry guys, uh, Chris just texted me back. All right, let's do this random. Uh, Germany on top, US on bottom. Winner will get the prism, loser will get the base. One, two, three, four, and five. So that one goes to the top, so Germany will get the prism, and the USA will get the base. You can briefly over here. 
about is this is like, I think one of the fun things I've seen in a while. Oh, hold on. I can't yeah. turn this around yeah. right now, but oh, let yeah, me yeah. finish this because I, yeah. I will in a sec. Can you give me like five minutes? Yeah. Okay, same thing on this one, guys. We've got uh, Forlan and Donovan, Uruguay on top, USA on the bottom. Winner gets the prism five times. One, two, three, four, and five. So top, Forlan will get the uh, prism version, and USA will get the regular baseboard version. All right, next one, we've got Netherlands top, Germany bottom. One, two, three, four, five. Bottom is Germany. Germany gets, oh, actually, sorry, man, you had both of those, Pedro. I guess I should have, didn't need to do that random. Um, next card, uh, Chile on top, Spain on the bottom. One, two, three, four, and five. That one goes to the bottom. That means goes to Spain. All right. Next one we've got to do, we've got Russia on top, Belgium on the bottom. One, two, three, four, five. Top goes to Kokorin. I'm not sure who has Iran. Let me see who has Iran in these. Uh, Someone from eBay, uh, Joshua from eBay, had Iran, so I'm not sure if he is on or not. Uh, Italy on top, Spain on the bottom. Five times. One, two, three, four, five. Top is Italy. Okay, we've got uh, Argentina, Nigeria. Argentina on top, Nigeria on the bottom. One, two, three, four, and five. Bottom goes to Nigeria. We've got Ivory Coast top, Colombia bottom. One, two, three, four, five. Top is Ivory Coast. Next one, we've got uh, Cavani, Uruguay on top, Balotelli, Italia on the bottom. One, two, three, four, and five. Top goes to Uruguay. Next one uh, we have is uh, Italy, Pirlo on top, and England, Gerard on the bottom. Five times. One, two, three, four, and five. Top is Pirlo. Italy. All right, this next one, we've got two of them. We've got Ivory Coast on top, Japan on the bottom. Winner gets prism, loser gets base. One, two, three, four, five. Top is Ivory Coast. So Ivory Coast gets the prism, Japan gets the base.
Hold on, guys. Sorry, I'm getting texts from uh, Chris Bird here. All right, we've got a couple of uh, nice ones here. Uh, we've got Germany, Ozil on top, and Ronaldo, Portugal on the bottom. Good luck to Germany and Portugal five times. One, two, three, four, and five. Goes to bottom. That one goes to Portugal. Ronaldo gets that one. Okay, now the next one uh, is another nice one. We've got Cristiano Ronaldo, Portugal on top, and Lionel Messi on the bottom, Argentina. So Portugal on top, Argentina on the bottom. Five times. One, two, three, four, five. That one goes to the top, and Portugal and Ronaldo take both of those. Uh, all right, I think we had one more here. What did I do with it? Okay, here it is. Uh, this one, we've got a Buffon, Italy on top, and Iker Casilla, Spain on the bottom. We have the blue and the prism. So winner will get the blue, loser will get the prism. Italy on top, Spain on the bottom. Good luck. One, two, three, four, and five top so goes to Italy Italy gets the blue and Spain gets the prism version of that card uh, all right guys I think uh, yeah and then Chris and Chris are gonna work on uh, on figuring out what to do about that 101. So uh, let me just reset this and then we'll go on from there. Okay, give me one second, I will be back. 